here again on one of the several windows of the Swiss Church of the Black Cross. It shows several black crosses of the Teutonic Knights and subcontingent contingent of the Knights Templars. Now watch the date 1226, the Black Eagle and the castle on the left. This means that the castle was given to the Black Knights in the year 1226. So here you can see the bigger picture of the medieval comics telling its story with the king above the day 1226 and two Teutonic knights with swords, a helmet under his arm and black crosses on their garments on the other side above the black cross, as if both parties depicted each on every side. And it was only this I wanted to film for you before those aggressive Swiss troublemakers came pushing me around. And I would have filmed more and more to tell and discover if not those priests of the Black Cross would have gotten so physically violent with me. The true face of Switzerland. There really is a, a huge problem in this country here. First Swissy starts shouting and getting physically violent. Then they call up the police, as you can see here. Police always comes running if Swissy calls up. And then the foreigner is guilty. Then they say the foreigner did it. It's always the same thing. There's a real problem here, how they twist, how they twist the reality and the truth. Oh, this is not a neutral, innocent country. Forget it. And in fact, here it says what the medieval comics in the window of the church just told. Here it says that King Henry the Seventh just gave his castle away as a present to the Teutonic Knights. Say what? A king giving away his castle? Well, then they must have been out of the same family, house or bloodline then. Yes, all pharaohs. So this was written on the shield outside of the castle, the tourist shield, for the tourist. But uh, afterwards, if you feel like going have a closer look, well, you better not. You, ju you saw what happened if you do. It's all a trap. You know, first it shows like there's, it's a tourist attraction. So you want to have a closer look, won't you now? Well, if you do... Then the Swissy trap it, it just falls, you know, and Swissy getting aggressive and violent and, you know, call up the police for you as a sight, doing your sightseeing as you have been attracted by the shields outside and showing it's a tourist attraction and something to see there. And it doesn't say anyway, you know, it's not allowed to go in there. These are the silent laws of Switzerland, you know, and they don't care about any international laws, neither about their own laws. They only got their set of silent Swiss laws. You know, if it would have said on the door of the church forbidden to go in, I wouldn't have gone in, you see. But it's a trap. First, all the tourist attraction and things to see. And you know, if you walk and and if you walk into that trap, you know, then you get pushed around. They call up the police, and it, I think they should have written it down on the door of the church. You know, don't go in. But then, you know, at the same time, they they try the churches try to attract people and say, "Wow, well, come on, come and talk to Jesus." You know, there's all love in the church, and he's so nice and. Christians and Protestants are so nice, you know. <clears throat> it's a trap. I showed it to you. It's all a trap. It's a violent, aggressive, uh, evil trap. There are no nice people in this church. No Jesus, no, no love. And only the tourist attraction. But even that, you know, you, you get aggressed for it. Because you follow the tourist trap and the Jesus trap. You know, the tourist and the Jesus trap. That's what it is. You know, that's Switzerland. 
And if there are Templars, Teutonic Knights, Church of the Black Cross, Pharaohs and Nobility in Konitz, Bern, Switzerland, then there must be Freemasonry now. And yes, there is. It's a bit hidden as usual. And there is this guy here who calls himself Christoph Meister. Well, I'll bet you his name is not Meister. You know, Meister, that's a... The master, like a grandmaster, the, it's a it's a Freemason title, and here it says Konitz, and here it says here, Christoph Meister wird Stiftungsrat Präsident, or uh, a bit more here, here it says, Christoph Meister, in 2012, wird neuer Stiftungsrat der Haus der Freimaurer. He becomes the no the new leader of the. Um, of the Freemasons. Yeah, Freimaurer, that means Freemason. It's all hidden, you know. And here it says, you know, all these people, they all have the same name. Here's one in Konitz, here's one in Biel, Sumiswald. Well, in Sumiswald also there is a Teutonic Knights Castle, Frauenfeld, Mauer. It, they all have the same name. He's living there, you know, and here, all these the guys with the same name. And, well, this is what they do, you know. And uh, here, too, it says, um, where is it now? Here, too, Freimaurer Museum in Bern. So it's a Freemason Museum in Bern. Schweizerische Großloge. It's uh, the, the Swiss Alpine. Uh, large Freemason Obedienzen. Well, etc., etc. So, it just said here, Kunitz. Uh, where was that? Well, oh, here. It's up here. It says here, Kunitz. So, there are Freemasons. Well, of course there are. It's all hidden. And if there are Templars, Pharaohs, Teutonic Knights, Nobility, and Freemasons, then there must be organized child molesters too. Well then, yes there are. This was in the newspaper. This is the, the name of that town there, Kunitz. Where the uh, Kim Jong-un, the uh, not the paper tiger, but the cheese tiger, where he, where he lived. And where the Church of the Black Cross is. They're all there. And I wouldn't be surprised at all if this dirtbag priest knows more about it and about what his flock are doing when they're not in the church, probably leading the rituals himself. Together with Madonna here. And well at least they have a they have some sort of a problem with violence, you know. So <laughs> well they know what's going on in their commune, you know, in this small town of Konitz, of course they know, they know all about it. The more, if you look at the Madonna Angelina Jolie Maleficent Isis horns on the Teutonic helmets. Yes, the entire house of evil gathers in Octogon, Switzerland. The Black Knights, the Black SS, and now the Black Isis, all death cults, and same Swiss totali totalitarianism. All through Pharaoh's United Kingdom of Octagon, Switzerland, making it all possible, this war on humanity. The Swiss flag of Pharaoh in the colors of the United Kingdom of Upper and Lower Egypt, uniting the White House with the Red House of Pharaoh, a place of neutrality for them, where the entire world's financial elite has the guarantee of financial safety, and that for their pharaonic offspring, for their war against humanity. So here you can see the um, th this this was made by uh, Abel Danger. Good work, bro. And um, I hope you can do the um, put the white and the red crown of Upper and Lower Egypt for the White House and the Red House in this picture. 
We would be all glad if you could do that, Able Danger. Even the Lego Children's Toys Company knows it, so humanity's newborn slaves will get used to the idea of the planet's rulers in a sublimate way, learning the Swiss red and white colors of octagon of Pharaoh's red and wh white crown. And just as in the Swiss Teutonic Baltic in Bessarabia, it was the same thing. Where there are large Swiss communities like Zurichtal on Zurich Valley. Therefore, here in these two parts, the collaboration of the locals was the biggest to help killing other minorities for the SS Einsatzgruppen during the Second World War. In the Baltic with Einsatzgruppen, ah! And in Bessarabia with Einsatzgruppen, de! where the Swiss locals gave most support to the Black Knights of World War II and their genocidal program executed with Swiss precision. Uh, writing down all the numbers killed as in the Swiss Jäger report for which the Germans took all the blame after the war. So here you can see it. Uh, the, uh, this is Bessarabia. This is Einsatzgruppen B D. And uh, all this is Bessarabia. Even the Crimea, it's full of Swiss descent. And they came later. And before that, Swissy came with the uh, Teutonic Knights into the Baltic here. With Einsatzgruppen A. Ah! And this is why, especially here in the Baltic, with the in Estonia, Lithuania, um, they got together with this area here in Bessarabia, the Einsatzgruppen, they got most support of the local uh, population more than anywhere else. And this is because this is Swiss descent. They've always been killing and murdering people all over, the, all over Europe and now all over the world. And there's a big war coming up now because of them. Humanity has only one chance, you know, to make Switzerland stop doing what it's doing. That's our only chance, you know. We have to bite off the head of the, of the monster. We have no other chance, believe me. That's where all the money is. It's what Putin is preparing his post-war. Yeah, there's a war coming up. We can all see it. Just like before the Second World War. Now don't put your head into the ground, you know. Wake up and let's do something. Otherwise our children are going to suffer again. And I told you, the Swiss, they organized World War II. And now they're doing the same thing. Through their Swiss banks, Putin, when he was gone for eight days, you know, more than a week. Nobody knew where he was uh, just a couple of weeks ago. Well, they were discussing... In the United Kingdom, the red and white United Kingdom, as i just shown you, in the Alps, they were just discussing the new world, the new world war and humanity's future. And he's preparing his, uh, his getaway car, Mr. Putin. He's going to live with his, you know, just next to his pal, Khodorkovsky. And we're all going to bleed for it. So, there's only one way out. I just told it to you. Wakey, wakey. So here you can see in the middle of the war on March 1st, uh, 1940. Here it says Deutsch Ritter Ordens. Here's the cross of the Teutonic Knights. Just like here in Switzerland where they organized from the, uh, in the uh, Church of the Black Cross. And here's his, his other symbol also from the Pharaohs. And this is the 7th Reichsheiltag. And here it says Heil. You know, the healing day. Because they're already in the process like of healing, you know, like this, the, 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 the final solution, you know, like healing. And this is the Heil, it comes from the, uh, the uh, Knights Templar slogan of uh, Helfen, um, Wern, Heilen. So that means again uh, to, um, to, to help defend and 
uh, hill. And in fact, in 1938, Hitler forbade the Order of the Teutonic Knights. Well, that was all a sly Swiss lie, as you can see here in this picture two years later, in 1940. The same with forbidding the Freemasons, while Hitler's banker Jama Schacht and 33 degree Mason never had any problems in the Reich. Adolf Switler was just a damn Swiss liar. So it says in Wikipedia about the Teutonic Order, it was outlawed. Uh, its members have commonly been known as Teutonic Knights and it was outlaw outlawed by Adolf Switler. In 1938, but re-established in 1945. Well, why 1945? You know, because then they just went on doing it, you know, um, openly. But he forbade it, you know, like in 1938. And we all saw the picture of 1940 with that black cross. We just saw it, eh? And they even had SS Panzer divisions, you know, Hitler's Teutonic Knights and... It's just the same he forbade the uh, so-called the, uh, the Freemasons. Well, he, Mr. Switler was a liar anyway. The Nazis, what they did best was lying. Like they lied to the Jews and said, well, we're, we're only going to bring you to a working camp, you know. Everything will be fine. It, it's just well, a hard travel, you know. You have to be in a train for a couple of days and then everything will be nice. And when they got there, they said, well, let's have a shower, you know. Just have a shower, just... Have a good wash behind the ears and all that, you know, you feel much better afterwards and we give you a soup and then they were all gone, you know. This is what the Nazis did best and this is so typically Swiss, you know. I've never seen so many lies in my whole life as here in Switzerland. They, they don't do anything else and then they present themselves to the whole world as being so nice, neutral and clean. You know, it, it's all from Switzerland, folks, believe me. This is the United Kingdom of Pharaoh in the red and white colors. Now all they can do is lie, lie, lie. This is how they got so filthy rich. And this is how Octagon got to ma manage to rule the world now, which they do. And just like the Nazis, the Black Teutonic Knights called themselves Das Herrenvolk or the Master Race. An idea which is actually not very German in its origin, but very Swiss. And here it says, Deutsch Herrenorden. This is, this is what they call themselves as well. And later on, the Nazis, you know, this is about the um, here, Dritten Reich, the, the Third Reich, and the NSDAP. And here was the one we saw on Hitler's, uh, when he was having a speech there in 1940. And... Um, so when it was translated, we are sind das Herrenvolk with um, we are the master race. It, it's that that's correct, but it doesn't really hit the core entirely, because th th this is how it can be translated. But what Mr. Hitler and the other ones, these Nazis, really meant with it was the Teutonic Order, Deutsch Ritter on. This is what they meant, and here is the proof. Deutsch Herrenorden. Wir sind das Herrenvolk. Uh, meaning, we, uh, we, we are from the Teutonic Knights. And this is, you know, coming back to, um, to James Bond. It's all, it's all related to Switzerland, and Ian Fleming is the gentleman killer. And these are the gentlemen killers, like, well, that's what they th believe, you know, but they weren't. I mean, if, if you kill babies and children and drop bombs on everybody's house, it's not really gentleman-like. But it, it's all, it all belongs to the Swiss, you know, concealing their true nature uh, of that clean and neutral state, which it isn't really. So, this is where it came from. The knights, uh, the uh, the Teutonic knights, and they're not gentlemen. Herren, you know, it's it it, it, it can be translated with uh, gentlemen. This is the German order of the gentlemen, you know, like Mr. James Bond and the uh, sind das Herrenvolk. So, um, 
and the Swiss even feel themselves even superior over the Germans, which many German guest workers had to experience the hard way in Switzerland today. And here it says, the master raid in German, die Herrenrasse, das Herrenvolk. This is what I just told you, is a concept in Nazi ideology. And which is not oh, just the being the master race, but it's far more like um, um, uh, related to the uh, the order of the uh, the Teutonic Knights or the uh, Deutsch Herren Orden. And here in that word Herrenvolk which means not only master race, but can also be translated with gentlemen for Herren and people for Volk. That very same idea of that 007 octagon gentleman killer. Where its author Ian Fleming lived and studied in Switzerland and comes from a Templar Saint Croix family. And he knew and was friends with top Nazis all over Europe. So typical Spectre. Well, look at these two videos here for more information. On the same channel. That's why during World War II the Nazis even gave Teutonic Order names of the Black Knights to the other Black Knights of the SS. Panzer, Tank Battalion, Abteilung, Elf, Hermann von Salza who lived from 1165 to 1239 and was a Grand Master of the Teutonic Knights with the Fleur de Lis symbol of the aristocracy in their logo, just as the Swiss town of Lis. And von Salza was of course a member of the nobility and pharaonic bloodline, as all those gentlemen killers are and were. He got known for giving the Teutonic Knights the same status as the Templars and once rosen out of the Templars they got even just as important and merging into each other with the foundation of Switzerland in 1291, the United Kingdom of Pharaoh. So here you see it, this was a division Nordland of the, um, the German Panzer and here it says during this period, the Nordlands Panzer Battalion, SS Panzer Battalion Elf, was given the honor title Hermann von Salza, in honor of the fourth Grand Master of the Teutonic Knights. It's a bit odd, isn't it, if it was forbidden by Mr. Hitler, the Teutonic Knights Order, then giving the name of Hermann von Salza. It's all a lie. You know, Nazis, all they could do was lie. They said, well, we're going to fight for Europe against the Russians and all the other evil ones, you know. But what did they do? They dropped millions of bombs on millions of Aryan European children's rooms. You know, that's what they did. Children who were blonde and blue-eyed in Coventry and Warsaw and Warsaw, in Leningrad, in Stalingrad, even in Madrid and all over you know and um, they said well we love europe that's what the nazis said well what did they do they stole everything they they could you know just as the swiss police they steal everything they can they stole our trailer they stole my computer they stole 20 years of my life so it's so typical swiss you know you say, well, we're going to help you, you know. Like they say in the uh, the logo of the Teutonic Knights, you know, help, defend, heal. Well, they're not going to help. You know? And they're not going to heal anything either, you know. They just steal everything and then bring it into the motherland in Switzerland. The Swiss people, by the way, still are in a crusade against the whole world. With their paranoid deficiencies thinking the whole world is against them. Where the opposite is more true, being the Swiss against all other peoples, like with their Swiss Nazi banks. So typical for a compulsive paranoia diagnosis turning reality around and upside down. Believing the persecutors being persecuted, 
being the very Swiss reason for persecuting, persecuting others in the first place. And it's a well-known fact that when people suffering from a paranoia disorder, as it is the case with these six Swissies, then they have an uncontrollable tendency to develop violence and pathological aggressive behavior. Even leading to mass murder and genocide made in Switzerland. And this is just the tip of that alpine iceberg.